we're here at Copper State, day number two. The sun is shining, the sky is blue. What, what could get even better? Well, you might want to buy an engine and a setup like this that doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. I'm Dan Johnson talking with Teal Jenkins from Skytrack, who is going to tell me a little bit about the engine first, and then we want to focus on the shiny parts here, and we'll have some other ones in a different color. But before we get to the gearbox, tell me a little bit about the engine, Teal. Okay, this engine is out of a Yamaha snowmobile. This particular model is the Apex. This is the fuel injected version. So it's from, this is from years 2006 all the way up to 2018. And uh, Yamaha used it for all those years. Four cylinder, uh, double overhead cam. It's got five valves, three intakes, two exhausts. It's a little bit higher RPM engine. So we have to really reduce the, the RPM to get it to the prop. Why would somebody go that route though? Why do this when you could buy an engine from an airplane company that uh, already has everything all worked out on. Well, p part of it is just the you know the the cost the, the the raw cost of the engine. You can get one of these engines from a snowmobile, from a wrecking yard, or something like that, from anywhere from two thousand to four thousand dollars just really? for the base engine, and then uh, go ahead and take it out of the snowmobile and buy the redrive from me, and less than seven thousand dollars, and you got one hundred and fifty horsepower. Whoa. So it's more just a more of the builder that wants to be more hands-on. There is a company in Norway, uh, Edge Performance, that is offering a complete engine package in the naturally aspirated and the turbo. And uh, uh, Skytrax is supplying them with the gear, the gear boxes ah, okay. for them. Now the Edge Performance, these are the same fellows in, I believe in Norway, that do the uh, um, uh, add-on parts, if you want to call it that, for a Rotax engine? Yeah, the, all okay. the Rotax 912 they, they upgrades. Some... They yeah. got some history to them. Yeah, yeah, they, they do some really high quality. If somebody wanted a turnkey engine, they can buy a turnkey engine from them and with, with my gearbox on it. And the price range getting it from Edge is more closer to the new 912 prices, but you're getting a 150 horsepower engine as opposed to, you know, a 100, 100 horsepower, 115 horsepower engine. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. And the power to rate ratio, this whole the way it sits with fluid and everything is about 165 to 175 pounds. This okay. is pure liquid cooled. It does have a oil heat exchanger that uses the coolant to cool the oil, but uh, no air cooling as far as the block itself. The, you know, it uses the radiator. So it's just like a modern, you know, Japanese car engine, basically. The only thing that I've added, changed here is this, this particular exhaust right here is off of a motorcycle. It's a GSXR oh, okay. 1000 Suzuki motorcycle header and a, and a motorcycle muffler. Now, what I do is these little stubs right here, ah, okay. these stub adapters actually make it so it bolts right up, so I make these little stub adapters. Okay, you're doing this part, and the rest is just, just the way you bought it from a motorcycle guy or whatever. Yep, okay. yep. All right, so if you're pretty handy then, mechanically adept, uh, you know, probably enough to assemble an airplane kit. Would that be good enough to do this kind of work? I, I would think so. A lot of the builders, if you can, if you could weld, yeah. And they, right now, there's a lot of people coming on board that's offering the different components and pieces to. If you go online on the uh, Yamaha Aircraft Conversions Facebook group, uh, there's guys on there that offer the individual, hey, if you want headers, I'm making ten of them. You know, ah, is that so, right? Okay. So people are, uh, the, with their expertise are offering. Uh, uh, you know, individual parts and pieces. I, I focus strictly on manufacturing the gearbox and sticking there and other people can kind of go towards making the different parts and pieces. These are the same exact parts, just with a different finish. Right, right. yeah, it's black anodized as opposed to silver anodized. Okay, and so when you get this engine, it didn't have, it wasn't intended for a prop, obviously, so you've got to do some reduction here to uh, apply the engine speed to proper prop speed. Am Absolutely, yes. That? Walk me through the process of what you create. <clears throat> so this is the back half of the gearbox. Basically, whenever you get the snowmobile engine, you'll, there's a cover that's mounted on the engine. You pull the cover off, and then you mount the back half of the gearbox. And this here is basically a replica of the cover that you take off, including the internal baffling. Ah, okay. All this, uh, sh the shiny parts that I'm looking at here on this otherwise black thing. Yeah, this okay. is, that's a, basically a replica of the cover that you pull off. So you pull, you pull the cover off and you bolt this on through the perimeter bolts on the cover. And then there's an eight millimeter bolt here that bolts it to the head also. So you get the back half on, install the gears and the front half on. And then once you install the front half on, you're 
basically done. You can bolt the propeller on it. So uh, a builder in a, in the matter of hour and a half, two hours time frame can can adapt, put a prop on his engine. Wow. And so now that has nothing to do with the rest of the engine prep time. But once that's done. He gets this from you and he's got an hour and a half of work left? Right, yep. And then there's, uh, like I was mentioning a, a little bit ago about the individuals online that are offering their parts and pieces. There's a, there's a guy online on the Yamaha Aircraft Conversions Group, his name is Ian Bange. He offers the, uh, the, the wire harness, plug and play wire harnesses. Okay. So you could take your stock wire harness from your snowmobile and send it to him and he'll go through it and make it take off all this, the grip heater and the headlight stuff, you know, out of the wire I harness, see, send it back to you, and then you got a plug and play harness and you can just plug everything in. All right, so actually quite a bit of support to do what sounded like, okay, that's more than I would tackle. Mm -hmm. Maybe not because there are other people to help beside e you. Too. Exactly, okay. yeah. All right. So it's kind of like a team effort amongst the builders. <laughs> we all, you know, try to do our, fulfill our niche in the industry and you, you know, everybody takes care of what they're experts in. But yeah, I supply the gearboxes to Edge Performance for his, his adaptation of the Yamaha engine. Okay. All right, so let's talk about, you know, everybody knows on a Rotax or lots of other things, aircraft that, that use a gear reduction. They know a number or something like that. Give me some of that information about gear drives. And then I want to hear about how you keep it cool in there too. Okay, so uh, the, the gear reduction in this is 3.11 to 1, so that's this reduction. The Yamaha, the engine itself, has a reduction on it, which is 1.23 to 1, so compounded from crankshaft to prop, it's 3.83 to 1. Almost yeah. 4 to 1 then, okay. Yeah, yep. So, uh, so for cooling, uh, we do have some fins on the, on, the, on, the, on the cover here, if you turn it around. There's some cooling fins here, and also I've incorporated an oil reservoir in here with separation baffles in here. So the oil collects in this area, it spins off the gears and collects and cools uh, as, as, as it circulates. So. I see, okay. Um, what does the uh, engine uh, typically run at, <coughs> uh, RPM? Well, uh, it, it, cruise power setting in something like this is anywhere from 6,000 to 7,000 RPM. Okay, so pretty high RPM, higher even than a Rotax. Yes. And that's yes. why you need the four to one reduction. Exactly. Uh, we talked about how you cool it, we talked about how you make it, but you gotta maintain these things once you got it. Airplanes are about maintenance, so what maintenance is required for this package once it's installed and operating and everything else? Just regular oil changes uh, in an interval around two to 300 hours. Uh, it actually, we're using uh, um, Dexron 6 ATF uh, fluid in it. Uh, and then the other thing, there's a Sprague clutch element inside here. Um, I, you know, you can measure the clutch at an interval, but I recommend just replacing the element. You can get the elements for less than a hundred dollars. Oh. So just, re you could replace the element in th three to five hundred hours. All right, well, a lot of great information, Teal. Thank you for all of that. Uh, you mentioned these Facebook guys. Can you relate their Facebook page for us? Yeah, it's a Yamaha Aircraft Conversions. Okay, and then you have a phone number to reach you to ask more questions or to make a purchase or... Yep, that's 623-734-0185. Uh, okay. Alright, thank you, Teal. Thank you. Lots of information about all kinds of affordable aircraft. You can find that on ByDanJohnson.com.